I just saw a fish, Dad. Oh, gosh, I got one. I'm having a fish. Oh, my gosh, it's a big fish. Oh, my gosh, it's a big bass. All you cool deer slayers and bass snatchers, welcome on back to the channel. Woo! LFDs out here, y'all, and we are coming off a just an uh, emotional roller coaster of awesomeness. Uh, hunting with Dad. Hope you guys watched that video. If you didn't, uh, take a moment in your life and just go do it and smash that like button. Just give it a tickle, please. We had such a good time. It was. It was, it was awesome. And I was telling dad, I was like, man, we got some ponds out here at the lease. I've never even fished them. I don't know what is in here. There could be some really nice bass. A couple of them look really good. We just happened to have some brand new Guggen baits coming fresh off the press. Uh, we're gonna give those a look and we're gonna see if there's any bass in these little lakes out here and I, I figured you know while we got dad out here might as well experience it together it's kind of old school man father son yeah. going out you know, walking around fishing fishing ponds and stuff that's we used to do that when i was a little bitty it's a little different today we got the meat wagon so the meat wagon we can ride around we got about a mile drive we'll get down there and we'll see what these lakes look like man what do you got on you got a hummer dad on yeah you know i thought the probably a lot of vegetation down here I think there is going to be the ones yeah. I have passed. There's some pond weed on the side, um, kind of some duckweed looking stuff. So that could be good. And I'm thinking plastics might be the deal. And oh, you got a little crappie jig tied on yeah, right here, Dad. Yeah, I, I thought uh, we might check and see if the crappies are out. If the crappie are in here, I may not ever leave the lease. It could it could get real nasty. But let's roll on down there and see what we got. say the long bed on the meat wagon definitely a bonus for fishing rods too i didn't even think about that but you just lay them down back there dang them near a six foot bed perfect for fishing poles and you can fit a buttload of tackle in there Okay, fishing freaks, we, we've got a nice little money bag here full of some tasties. And let me introduce to you the Explode Toad, or as I like to call it, the Sploder Toad. It's got a slightly angled up nose, so you, you know, keep that belly in the water, but you, got, you want that nose up to so it'll uh, stay upright. It does have some collapsible ribs right here. So when a bass grabs it, you know, that can collapse, get a little bit better hook set. Oh, oh, that, that was a kingfisher bird. I thought that was a bass exploding over there. Apologize. When you get it, always make sure to split your legs, split those little feet. And uh, of course, you know, those, those feet are gonna kick real nice. A nice little hook slot right there. And it's just a good compact size. It's a good, um, you know, it's not too big. It's just a good size toad, but it has enough weight where you can really fling it out there. So, um, you know, a four aught or a five aught offset worm hook, um, I'll throw the hammer hook on this and just tuck it in there and woo, it should get nibbled. Um, but if the top water's not happening, we do have other options. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is our jig trailer. You know, I'm a huge jig fisherman, love to fish jigs. Something we did with our craws is we we widened up a cracking craw made it more compact and then we put a rattle 
in the plastic itself. So, you know, you don't have to mess around with putting rattles on the outside of your jig of it. That's always kind of bugged me. I thought it gets in the way of hook sets, gets in the way of the skirt. Uh, so you got one in here. And if you don't want a rattle, you can take it out. But that is our chunk. So it's a rattling chunk. A uh, bunch of great colors. You know, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of green pumpkin. I love blue baby. Um, you know, basically a lot of the natural colors. I just really love white. We'll definitely give that a toss on a swim jig or during the spawn. But I think for today's old pond angle, we'll just tie on the old classic zinger here. This old perch colored one. Don't litter. Don't be a litter critter. We'll just give her a daggum toss on the old go-to gold series. I'm pretty sure Parrick used my rod and reel last because I would never wrap my line around the reel like that. Pretty ugly. New knife featured in today's video, Arno Bernard Badger. That is made out of giraffe bone handle. Nice mirror finish. Pretty, pretty knife. Just got done cleaning dad's deer with that. What an incredibly beautiful day. This seems like weightless plastic uh, sort of situation, but we're gonna give the, the zinger a shot. It's always good in ponds. Um, kind of a weird color. Don't really like this color most of the time unless it's spawn time. Um, but I'm gonna run it around this grass and it might look like a bluegill living in here. Well, bam. If there are fish in here, they might be a little freaked out from that cold front we had. I just saw a fish, Dad. Oh, gosh, I got one. I'm having a fish. Oh, my gosh, it's a big fish. Oh, my gosh, it's a big bass. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. There are bass in here. This is a big bass. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's bass in here. Look at this fish. He's cold. Oh my gosh, look at that, Dad. <laughs> They're freaking living in here. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh, I'm in heaven, man. Oh my goodness. How awesome. You guys, it's awesome. Dad, come get a picture. Oh, that's crazy. That's a good fish right there, y'all. Oh, don't get away, sir. Yeah, well, there's, there's a little bit of grass. There's some uh, grass patches over here. He hit the old pumpkin spice. Spinner bait, the old zinger. All right, y'all, we're gonna let this fish go. How awesome is that? I mean, that's a woo, three and a half, three and three quarters, maybe? Nice one. Bass, and he slammed it. He was a little cold. I mean, he didn't fight like he probably normally would, but hey, how about that? Nice. Now I gotta catch one. You know, if you can get a nice buck and a five pound bass in the same day, you might as well just retire. I think so. Because <laughs> <laughs> what, what a beautiful place. This is awesome, guys. I mean, this, there's uh, quite a bit of water here. Um, now we know there's bass in here. So, I mean, he was kind of skinny. Probably needs some, some food, but... Oh my gosh, I am so excited, y'all, to catch a bass on this place, knowing, there, knowing there's fishing here, especially fish like that. Holy cow. Springtime out here, turkey hunting and bass fishing. Goodness gracious. Oh, hard to beat a spinnerbait in a pond. It's, it's pretty uncontested over the test of time oh i think i just had one there he like fluttered my blade oh i did i definitely did i see him i see his boil right on the edge of that grass line he, like he just tapped it i would throw that worm over here dad like right on this grass edge i think you'll get tattooed Got to watch out for the old slithery ones here. We are in rattlesnake territory. 
Man, look at these trees out here in the center. Come on now. There's gonna there's gotta be one by this tree, this little mesquite right here hanging over. Creates a little shade. Oh got him! That was one right there on that that shade line. There's what I expect to catch out of here. Little bass. That jaw nice and healthy. Their mouths start to get really hard when it, get co it gets cold. And let him go. Oh, man. Beautiful. And there's some other type of pond grass in here. There's that pond weed right there. Bass always love living around that stuff. Oh, my gosh. I watched him grab it. Watch him grab it on that grass edge. That was awesome. Oh, so cool. Woo! This one looks pretty healthy too. Son! Dang, that's another good fish right there. Two and a half pounder. Uh, probably couldn't pick that up on the GoPro, but I ran that spinner bait through that pond weed and he just tagged it, man. That's, that is a classic technique for a lot of lakes that I've fished. I haven't fished a whole lot of ponds that have this, this kind of good pond weed edge, but man, running a spinnerbait through there or a swim jig or a frog in the fall. Certified good technique. Dad's hooked up. Is it? Got him on the worm? Got him on the Mondo worm? Yeah. Oh gosh, that is a good fish. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, dad. Well. This might be a five pounder. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bring that blogger head over here. Holy cow. Come here, buddy. What in the world? Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, if he's not five, he's close. Got him on the mini Mondo. Here, grab him. Oh, oh what a nice fish. Look at the fish that has got in there. I think that fish is borderline fiber. I do too. I mean, I mean he's, he's thick, chunky. Yeah, look at his eyes. Holy I mean. cow. That, nice that is awesome. Y'all, this place has some hammers. We're gonna call that a five pounder, just for the story. Yeah. It's probably not, it's probably four and three quarters, but. Look how pretty he is. Amazing fish for out here. Really yeah. pretty fish, man. Yeah, let's lay low. Let's go. Begging. Just hog jammers living out here. Catching Mondos on the Mondo worm. Yep. And you, and you got a three, uh, three pounder. Three pounder. As well, a bonus. It. Just so you're fishing this weightless weightless popped it up by the grass he popped it i set the hook and he took off yeah it was nice i like that color out here so this is yeah you know, black neon uh is always good in the dirty water like this but so this is um this is a newer size y'all this is the junior in the mondo oh, that's kind of silly mondo junior but this is the, I believe it's seven and a half uh, inches instead of the 10. Um, you know, a lot of people get intimidated by bigger worms. They definitely do catch big fish, but like a seven and a half, like going back to like the culprit worm days, yep. you know, th this worm, that size worm is responsible for catching a lot of, I know your first fish Yep. and uh, a lot of my first fish as well. And it's just a perfect size for pond fishing and then when you start fishing a little bit smaller baits in lakes in the fall and put it on put it on shaky head Mat matches Done. up well with this three aught too yeah three aught yeah three aught hammer hook on there so that's a really good setup so i'll leave a link down below um you guys check it out shopcarls.com get you some you can check out the new stuff um definitely definitely pick you up some of these as well dad makes me proud as well for you to uh catch Catch a bass on a worm I designed. Yeah. And then cool. also, also 
getting your first deer today? My first deer ever in my lifetime. I put you on the deer. Yeah. I put you on the bass. Hey, I'll just make you come down here and live right here. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are epic father. This is like the most epic father Sunday ever. So if you guys followed the last episode, you already know it's just an amazing day. And this is a cherry on top right now. So I'm sure we're going to be talking about this day for a long time. Let's do it again. Pure pleasure. We're gonna just gonna have to break open a, a juicy right now. Break open a fresh 516 sound juicy gig. We're gonna have to put one of the new rattling chunks on there. Dad just got a plastic bite weightless. I just saw some things fishing the spinnerbait around the grass. I think I can I can work this thing through there and get pummeled. So I'm gonna try to catch one more man. Catch one more out here. Especially on this whole rattling chunk. Be good times. Absolutely love a jig bite, y'all. That's pretty hard to beat right there. So that little combo sets up just like that. You know, there's no trimming of the plastic. It's it's good to go out of the gates. We'll go ahead and cut our zinger off. The zinger always good. I love fishing spinner baits in the fall, y'all. It's so good. Hang that on the meat wagon rack here. <sighs> I'm pretty sure this is mono on here and I should not be throwing this, but you know, we're gonna go with it. We're Texas pond fishing while we're at the deer lease, so it's allowed. But normally I would throw my jigs on at least 15 pound fluorocarbon because when you when they engulf it, they got it. You don't want to break them off. And got you some little mondos, Dad. Here you go. Worms in the Ooh, pocket. I'm gonna catch me another one down here on this grass edge on my jig and then I'm gonna be a happy camper. Wow, it's pretty deep right there. I can see why they're living right on this edge. The juicy is, you know, it's a, it's a casting jig, so it's overall, um, you can fish it on the bottom or you can fish it like I'm doing now, just kind of hopping it, hopping it through this stuff. Obviously a swim jig would be most preferred if you're gonna really focus on reeling through the grass, but just kind of hopping it up, swimming it. Got one. Dad's hooked up again. Good one. Oh, just got smoked right out by that tree. Woo! Just might have found the magic tree. Got him. Yep. Hit it on that edge. Come here, baby. Woo! Smoking the jig. Got to love it. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, too. Oh, yeah, that's a good jig fish, baby. Oh, my gosh. Is this real? Is this happening? Jig fish. Wah-bam in the schnoozle. Got him in that soft spot. Just popped out, but just kept light pressure on him. I was just working that thing up and down. And it fell off that edge and I felt it just start swimming. That is a healthy fish, y'all. Really healthy fish. It's the time of year when they start fattening up though. Good thick tail. Extremely healthy for a small pond like this. Get back in there. Get healthy. I'll catch you again one day. Whoo! Smash it. I think we're going to end on that one right there, y'all. Good one to end on, good jig fish, you know what I'm saying? And we'll leave some for another day. The go-to, I can do pretty much everything I need to do out here from fishing a jig. Um, could probably get away with a frog with some 30-pound braid. Uh, you could throw a weightless bait. You could throw a Texas rig. You could throw a vibrating jig. You know, throw your spinner baits like I was throwing earlier. The gold go-to. Woo! Woo! 
my favorite. I could not be happier with today's events. Like I said earlier, we went out deer hunting this morning. Uh, my dad's first deer. That was awesome. And we just discovered a new pond. I believe it is spring fed. Uh, that's what I've heard. It makes perfect sense the way the water level is right now. And the water's just beautiful. And it's got big bass in it. Another special video hanging out with LFD. Took me fishing when I was a kid. Got me into it, got me hooked. Caught my first one, three years old on the Tennessee River. White bass, little Snoopy pole, wah bam. Hooked for life. And uh, it's really cool now that I'm taking my dad fishing out here. So we're gonna sign it off for today, y'all. Thank you for being here on each and every single one of these outdoor videos. And I hope you're having a great and blessed day in the outdoors yourself. And sending you good luck on your fall harvest. God bless you, I'll see you soon.